What is going on you guys? It is Caveman here and welcome back to episode 8 of Ark Survival Ascended. Now last time we left off, of course we tamed this baby Ceratosaurus here behind me and he wants care in just about 20 seconds it looks like, so we're going to find out what he needs there. Um, but what I'm thinking I want to do this episode, you guys, besides obviously caring for our little Ceratosaurus over here, is try to maybe go on a little bit of a caving adventure. And we're, in that process, we're probably going to need to upgrade our armor and our tools before we do that. So we'll probably make sure we have all metal tools and upgraded tools and whatnot, and then we'll head up in there. But let's see what this guy wants for care, you guys. Oh, boy. Wants to be hand-fed cooked fish meat. You know, I don't know if we have any fish meat cooked right now. We might actually have to go kill a fish so we can hand-feed him some fish meat, you guys. Um, yeah, I don't even. We don't even have a preserving bit in this place, Kali. <laughs> um, uh, let's see. Um, yeah, I'm not seeing any fish meat really in here. So let's go ahead and go get some of that and cook it up, and then we'll be able to care for our little baby over there. But um, hopefully we can find a fish here reasonably quick. Oh, psh, and there's one right away. Come on, there you go, die fish. And yeah, there's um, another one of these things. I've been thinking about uninstalling the cosmetics mod just for that reason because it seems like every single thing we kill is starting to drop one of those, and it's just kind of getting annoying. So I'll, I'll consider that. We might end up uninstalling that. But I'll think about it here because obviously it does, you know, provide some really cool features here with these sunglasses and whatnot and all the other crazy cool things we could do. But it's just starting to add a lot of unnecessary things, I feel like, to our world. So either way, let's get this piece of cooked fish meat and let's go ahead and hand feed our little baby over there so we can get some imprinting bonuses on him. And that'll help us get good staffs when whatnot going for him. So oh, 9% imprint, man, that is going to be a slow little imprint on him. Okay, and now we got 14 minutes, it looks like, until we can, um, well, until we need to get back here to care for him again. So let's see, let's, let's go in that time, let's go out caving then, let's go see what we can do, and, you know, if we can maybe get the artifact of the closest cave to us. I think it's called, um, the South Cave or something? I don't know, it's the cave that's right through this little ravine, if you guys know over there. So, yeah, we'll be headed over there, and we'll see if we can get the artifact. I do know where the artifact is, because on the server I've been playing with my friends, I went ahead and did a little cave run and found the artifact in there so uh i should be able to you know get in there and find the artifact as well in this world because we're going to be making the reusable grapple you guys now i don't even know if we have this thing unlocked yet but i know we're close oh okay we don't even have it unlocked yet you guys um we're only level 47 and a 43 yeah oh uh, and we do have one level up but that's not going to be enough. I think we do need to go killing some creatures here, you guys. So I'm going to do some of that and level ourselves up. And, you know, do we want to take out one of our dinosaurs, really? Or should we just do it on foot? That's what I'm considering here. I feel like if we do it on foot, we're bound to get more level ups ourselves. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. And um, also, you guys, since, you know, it is Christmas time, and happy holidays to all, of course, but um, since it is Christmas time, of course, they have added raptor claws to the Ark world, so if it gets to nighttime, we'll be able to go around and, you know, look for raptor claws and try to get some of the good presents that he drops, so that'll be super awesome, but let's try to kill some of these things and get ourselves some XP. Oh, that was a miss there. Oh, come on, come on. Now i got to do it a little bit later. Uh, I was still too early this time. Okay, third time's the charm. Third time's the charm. Yeah, there we go. That's what I'm talking about, you guys. Go ahead and harvest that up. And we probably want to put our level up into something just so we know if we level up again. Let's go movement speed. I've been liking this movement speed. And I think a lot of that's going to help us run through these caves real easily. So, um, yeah, let me go ahead and level up. And I'll just kill, like, everything I see. And hopefully we can get some level ups. I don't know if I'm going to be able to get us all the way to 47 to get those grapples. But either way, I'm going to do that. I'll level up here. And I'll see you guys here in a bit. Ooh. Well, you know what, guys? I just remembered. We can go get Explorer Notes on this world, and that'll help us level up faster. Ooh, yeah, I can't believe I forgot about that. So let's go get ourselves an Explorer Note, and then we'll be able to kill things, and we'll level up way faster than what we're leveling up right now. And lucky for me, I know where some Explorer Notes are. They're on this island just south of us over there. That might have been where we spawned. I don't even remember where we spawned at this world. But um, yeah, just over here. Do we have enough carry away? Oh yeah, we, we got plenty of extra carry away. So yeah, over here, there's two of them over here. Now, I used to know where they are where, you know, in Ark Survival Evolved. Of course, the map has completely changed now, and it looks, like, totally different. So I'll try to find these things in here, but I don't know if we're going to be able to, you guys. It's probably going to be a tough search. Ooh, you guys, well, I found one of the Explorer Nuts out here, and that's all we're going to need. I don't need to get the second one, so let's just go ahead and collect this. Might as well get it with the bird, even though we're not really going to use the XP boost. Ooh, and a Deodon. 
<laughs> I guess that's cool, right? But sweet, now we have XP boost going on, as well as probably level ups ourselves to do already. So that's super awesome. But let's head back to base and let's go ahead and kill some more creatures. And then we should be able to get to level 47. And you know, speaking of killing creatures, there is something right here in front of me. Let's go ahead and take care of this little Dilophosaurus real quick. And also, since um, the Christmas update's out right now, um, it has all the dinosaurs having like really cool color schemes and stuff. And yeah, there's one right there. You guys see how this dodo over here is just like bright pink? Yeah, so there's going to be like really cool just abstract colors going on right now because, you know, the little uh, Christmas event basically going on. So that's super cool. Maybe we could tame ourselves like a really vibrant T-Rex or something really cool. So that'll be super awesome. But um, yeah, we're basically back to base. I don't know how many level ups I have right now. Okay, only one. But that means we just need two more level ups. And our bird over here, it has six level ups. You know what? I'm just going to leave that for now. <laughs> we don't really need to do any of that right now. And yeah, look, that seagull just killed a bird and made one of these weird chest things. So yeah, that I don't know. We're probably going to end up getting rid of that um one mod. But either way, not not right now. We'll, we will save that for a little bit later. Um, but yeah, everything's flying super high in the sky right now. And there's like nothing around to kill. I'm going to roam up the river, you guys, because this XP now only has a limited amount of time. So we got to find some creatures here fast. All right, you guys. Well, I'm about to level up. I'm basically on the verge of getting to level 46. And then we need 47. So we need like one in like 0.1 levels right now because we need, we need this little bar of XP. But there's two turtles right here. So let's go ahead and see if we can't slay these guys. And I don't really know what the best tool to go about this is because they both just have a ton of health. You know what, let's kill the one over here. This one's significantly weaker, so we'll kill the weaker turtle first. Ooh, all right, the first turtle's about to go down, or the low-level one. Yeah, sweet, there we go. Now we should be able to do a little bit more damage, yeah, because they're not mate-boosted. They were like a male and female pair, so they had a little bit of damage reduction and damage buffs probably too. But either way, yeah, we're slaying this turtle now. And all right, you guys, turtle is down for the count. So go ahead and get our resources there. Ooh, and there's a parasaur kind of running in the background. It's kind of worrisome. <laughs> um, ooh, a little seagull bird. You know what? Let's kill you for some XP. Come here, come here. I know you guys don't steal from us anymore in this world, but I remember your ancestors doing things. Man, I cannot catch up to him. Okay, he literally landed in the water. Yeah, there we go. Man, that thing was dumb, dude. I'm sitting there stabbing like a little pike thing at it, and it just sitting there watching me. doesn't even care. Okay, well, let's see how many level ups we ended up getting out of all of this here in just a second. We'll go ahead and harvest this body. Ooh, and we got ourselves two level ups, you guys. That is super awesome. So we don't even need to kill anything else, but I'm going to take care of this little Dilophosaurus right here. Actually, it's literally level five. How about we just, like, kill him straight up? Yeah, come here. You're not getting away. You're not getting away. Yeah, get out of here, you trash. Okay, let's head back to base, you guys. Apply these level ups, and I think um, our little Ceratosaurus is going to want care as well soon. So we'll care to our Ceratosaurus, get the level ups going, make these grapples, and then we'll go ahead and head into the cave for some caving adventures. Oh boy. See you guys back at the base. We are home, you guys. Let's go ahead and check our little baby Ceratosaurus. See, okay, he needs three care in three minutes, you guys. So we'll have to make sure we get to him um, in that time. But let's see, let's go ahead and put up some of our stuff we collected out here. I did get some metal while I was out there. I went ahead and hit some of those beach rocks, so go ahead and throw that stuff up in there. And then, yeah, let's go ahead and apply our level ups. Um, I've been putting all of these into movement speed today, because I want to move through this cave fast. I'm not trying to get caught, you know, by something in the cave. So let's go ahead and scroll all the way down here and learn some of these new things. Ooh, boy, a sword and a sickle? Yeah, we're definitely going to want to learn that. We remember the sickle from last time. That thing is a pretty good little item. Um, yeah, learn the chitin armor. We might want to make some of that, actually, you guys, too, today, because I want some upgraded armor. I don't know if our hide armor is really going to get it done inside the cave, if you know what I'm saying. Um, and yeah, here's what we got our level ups for, the reusable grapple hook. And well, I think we had to learn the other one just to get that, the reusable version or whatever. Ooh, and yeah, look, see, since it's the holiday time, there's all kinds of crazy things you can craft up in here. So that's super awesome, you guys. It looks like we can get a Santa hat, apparently, but we're going to need to get some mistletoe. And I don't really know where we're going to get mistletoe from. So um, I think it might be from the Santa sleigh drops, but I don't really know what's going on there. So I'll have to do some research on that. Either way, let's go ahead and get some of these reusable grapples going um it actually looks like they're in our inventory yeah it looks like it's in our inventory to make we're gonna need nine metal ingots a piece of cementic paste and some more fiber it looks like we have everything else on us um we should have that stuff right we have at least one piece of cementic 
paste, yeah, because we've been raiding those beaver dams. Yeah, we got heaps of cement and paste. And then, did that metal cook up? No, we need to cook more of this metal. So let me go ahead and throw some wood up in there and get that stuff cooking. Oh, we don't have any wood? Well, I don't really want to burn thatch just because I know wood gives the charcoal and whatnot. So let's see. Let's check our dude. Still got another minute on him. I think we'll be good there. Let's go ahead and get this wood and um, throw it up inside of that furnace. Get it cooking. We'll get ourselves some metal, make these grapples. And then I think we also want to make some stimulants as well because stimulants will actually help us stay awake um, if we get attacked by like these um, cave creatures because all the cave creatures pretty much do like knockout damage or whatever so they're going to knock us out if we don't bring like some stimulants you know to counteract that basically so let's see yeah we need to learn stimulant and then we're going to need a bunch of spark powder and a bunch of stim berries i don't really know if we have any of that ready to go no we do not so let's make some spark powder and then i'll, I'll see if there's any stim berries just kind of sitting around the base i don't know if there is I don't think I've really been keeping them so far, which is kind of a big mistake on my part. Yeah, it doesn't look like I was keeping any of those. Well, that's unfortunate. And real quick, I just wanted to tell you guys about an Ark Survival Ascended giveaway that I am doing. Yes, that's right. I'm going to be giving away one copy of Ark Survival Ascended to a lucky member in my Discord. So if you guys want to be entered in the giveaway, make sure you guys join my Discord. The link will be down below in the description. So again, if you guys want to win a copy of Ark Survival ascended make sure you guys join the discord but let's just get right back to the video so i guess we're just gonna have to go out harvesting um some berries on our pack meal because i think that's our only berry harvester if i remember correctly right now i don't believe anyone else has that ability so yeah let's go ahead and get some of this going and we'll have enough stim berries hopefully you know to do that Ooh, and our dude probably wants care oh maybe not yet oh does he um, yeah, he does want care. Um, Stratosaurus wants to go on a walk with me. Oh, man. Well, come here, Stratosaurus. I'll take you a walk around the base. Let's show you what's going on. Come here. Come here, Stratosaurus. Yeah, here's our little, you know, first base. Oh, wow. You're already imprinted. <laughs> I was going to give you a whole walk around the base. Well, you know, I'll still walk you around the base. You know, we'll tell you what's show you what's up. But, um, yeah, here's, you know, our little first base location, obviously. Day one shack. You know, we, we didn't really use it much beyond that. But it's still here. It's still here. Oh, well, come on, Ceratosaurus. Come come see the main house now. Come over here. There, there you go. Yeah, and look at this magnificent place. Yeah, this is still the most beautiful house I've built in Ark. I, I love seeing this place every day. But, um, yeah, bring bring you back over here. I mean, we don't really have much to show you, I guess. And you're already imprinted, so let's get you back over here safe. There you go. Go ahead and take a set right there. Here's something running around. Ooh, yeah, an Ovi Raptor. We should probably either kill this guy or scare him off. Yeah, if we scare him off, then that's fine, too. Because these guys steal your eggs, actually. You know what I'm saying? Like, they'll literally steal the eggs that your dinosaurs lay. So I don't want that. We need to harvest all our eggs right now, because they're going to be super valuable for making kibble and whatnot down the stretch, but um, either way, yeah, let's go ahead and make some of this stuff. Oh yeah, we need to get the stim berries off of um our pack meal. Did we even get enough stim berries? Let me see how many stim berries we got. Um, oh wow, we already have a ton of stim berries on them because I know I didn't harvest that many. So yeah, sweet. Go ahead and grab all of those. That is a ton, 350 stim berries casually. Well, that should be enough. <laughs> go ahead and throw them up in here. And we'll be good to go. We'll craft up a ton of stimulants as well as get that grapple going. And I think we should be able to, like, beat this first cave. Um, but, yeah, we need food. We need food, and we need it bad. <laughs> so let's go check our campfires. Our campfire got a little supply for us. Not really. It looks like that burnt out really quickly, too. Alrighty, you guys. Well, I went ahead and collected a good amount of wood, so I'm going to be able to cook up some of our food here, like a so. So I have plenty of food for the cave expedition. Um, you know what? Let's put a little bit more wood up in there just so it gets it all cooked for sure. Um, there we go. Sweet. Oh, man. Look, he came back. We got to kill him. We got to kill him. He literally came back probably to steal an egg. He probably did that just so he could steal an egg. Go on, get. Get out of here, you freaking um, dinosaur saurus. Oh, we killed him. Headshot. Nice, you guys. Yeah, I'm not going to go on those waters to harvest. <laughs> there is probably piranhas up in there. Um, but sweet, you guys. We took care of that guy. He shouldn't be stealing our eggs any longer. So that'll be better. Um, but let's go ahead and make this grapple. And then I'm probably going to wait until you know, our little juvenile Stratosaurus wants care again. And I don't think I said this last episode, you guys, but leave some comments down below for Stratosaurus names for this little guy right here. Because we need a good name for this thing right here. It is the strongest dinosaur hit our base by a mile, basically. So, yeah, we need something, you know, strong, you know, killing, if you will. I don't know, some kind of good name. But, yeah, let's go ahead and craft this grapple up, and then we'll just kind of wait around until he needs to, um, you know 
get carried again, and then right when we care for him, we'll go into this cave expedition. Get this going? Well, that should be enough metal, hopefully. Um, let's check. Yep, there we go. Sweet. And since this is a reusable grapple, you guys, we only have to make one of them as opposed to having to make a new one every time. So that'll be super good for us. And um, since you have to use it in your crossbow, I don't know if we... Um, should just make another crossbow, you know what I'm saying? So that way we can always shoot at least our arrows and then just kind of have the grapple sit into the side. I feel like that would be a really good idea, honestly. So I'm going to get enough metal to make another crossbow as well while I'm sitting here waiting. Probably make up some more arrows, wait for the food to go, you know, just get a few things going. And I will see you guys here back when our Stratosaurus wants care and we are ready for a cave expedition. See you guys here in a bit. Wow, you guys, there's like a fight going on outside base right now. I don't even know who's fighting. I guess they just killed everything, but yeah, man, everything was up in a ruckus, man. Golly, I'm over here just trying to craft things and whatnot. <laughs> but um, either way, um, I'm about to actually uninstall that cosmetics pod, you guys. I'm just going to do it right now because I don't even really want to see any more of the stuff that it drops. So I'm going to do that real quick, and then I will see you guys here in a second when we're ready to go caving. Unless something else crazy happens like we just did. Oh, man, you guys, wow. You guys, I'm just over here chilling at the base. You see what level it is. I don't need to say, oh, no, but I don't my freaking arrows i left my arrows inside this is really bad i got him bullied but he's gonna run away if he gets out of that bullet i know i have trank arrows yep in here grab these put them in the crossbow let's get out here really quickly you guys and knock this thing out max level 150 pteranodon it's got only 10 seconds left on the bullet it needs headshots and exclusively headshots okay okay one more this one will do it this one will do it i think we got a pteranodon yes you guys oh my gosh you guys you guys oh my gosh a max level 150 pteranodon man i was just sitting over here chilling you guys seriously like just chilling out of my mind like i just made a preserving bin i don't even remember what i was doing but then i saw that <laughs> oh wow you guys oh yeah now i do remember what i was doing let me go show you what i was doing as well before i saw this dude off camera hopefully he's still here there's um a little parasaur I want to show you guys. Now, parasaur in theory doesn't sound that cool, but let me show you why he's so cool. Do you see him right here? And I, he's level 17, right? Now, that doesn't sound too interesting, but with the settings in my world, you can't get a level 17 dinosaur just like normally. So that means that this dinosaur is actually a mutated baby, because if you look at its parent, it's a level 15. So technically, it's got two mutation levels, I believe. So I really kind of want to tame this parasaur. Like, I don't, I don't really know. It's probably not not that good actually i can look at him he has two mutation points in the stamina you know but i just want him because he looks so cool if you look at him it's like a really cool looking little parasaur so you know what we're gonna go ahead and um uh, probably kill all of the parents around here and then i think we'll be good to go after that and we'll just kind of claim the little baby i know how savage just murdering the parents right in front of it but you know what it's a dinosaur's life out here it's gonna be rough um can i claim you now sweet there we go look at that little juvenile parasaur you guys and yeah if we check its ancestors yeah look at that random mutations right up there you see one out of 20 right here so yeah this is a mutated parasaur technically it's literally just a parasaur but it's cool nonetheless and you know what i'm gonna name this parasaur joker because he looks like a joker oh and i kind of forgot we need to care for this guy i'm going off over here um wants to cuddle with me oh i'll give you some cuddles there little ceratosaurus there we go look at that guy that's awesome um, but yeah, I'm going to name this little Parasaur Joker because he is purple and green. That is literally just Joker colors. It is a perfect name for him. There we go, you guys. Joker the Parasaur. Sweet. Okay, so that one's going to want care too in some time. Okay, they're actually about the same time in 13 minutes. Um, Well, should we go try to do this cave run real quickly? I don't know if I can do it quickly like before this guy wakes up too well you guys since we have a max level pteranodon here that we need to tame now as well as you know the baby ceratosaurus that we need to care to every so often i don't think we're gonna go caving quite yet this episode we'll probably have to put it off till next episode but either way yeah let's go ahead and go get some prime meat for this guy because we want to get you know the max taming efficiency on him obviously he's literally a 150 so we need to get prime asap i'm probably going to use my raptor for that i'm 
think that I feel like the Raptor's the most agile. Let me go ahead and throw some of this junk in the trunk up here. Um, and yeah, we might... Should we make a few more arrows? We might make a few more arrows. Yeah, we'll probably make some more arrows, and we'll throw up our Trank arrows. Alrighty, you guys. Well, I think we are about ready here to go out and get some um, stuff for our Tyranodon. Oh, man, there's these dead Parasaur bodies out here. I probably should harvest these real quick. I mean, our hatchet is actually about to break. Just have to use the pickaxe, get the meats from it, I guess. Um, yeah, let's go get some prime meat. We'll probably use the Raptor. He's the most agile. Um, and let me, um, before we do that, we'll want to throw some narcotics up into the Tyranodon so it doesn't wake up on us while we're out there. Um, which chest are they in? Yeah, they're in this chest right here. So grab those, put them up in the bird, and give them a few, and then we'll be good to go. And also, while I was off camera there, you know, getting prepared for the cave, I made ourselves a water jar because, you know, I figured that was better than the water skins. The water skins leak, so you don't really want to use those in a cave. They're not going to be really too effective. So that's pretty cool that we have one of those. We'll want to go ahead and fill it up. But when are you guys? gonna need care you're 11 minutes so yeah you're about 11 i know they're both about the same right now at the moment so yeah get on the raptor where are you blue yeah you're buried in this conglomerate of dinosaurs here <laughs> you know i feel like instead of blue honestly you guys we probably should just take the bird because the bird's gonna be faster and we're probably gonna be killing it ourselves anyway i don't think we're really gonna be relying on blue to kill anything that was gonna give us prime because in reality blue is stronger than us but i don't know not strong enough to kill just any creature that gives us prime so we probably are we're gonna have to find a baby either way so we'll be able to find one a lot easier up here on the Tranodon. And ooh, speaking of those cool colors I was telling you about earlier, you guys, look at that Parasaur down there. That thing is a cool-looking little thing. There is a baby right there, you know. We did just tame a baby um, Parasaur, but now I think we're going to kill ourselves a baby Parasaur. Um, can we um, get rid of these nasty bugs? Get out of here, you trash bugs. Preventing me from taming my um, you know, little Pteranodon over here. Not my Pteranodon, my Parasaur. Yeah, come here. It's savage, I know, but we're going to have to slay you. Don't, don't look. Don't look, anyone. I know. It's straight savagery. Um, get our prime meat. Yeah, look at all that prime meat. That is a ton of prime meat. Get on our Pteranodon, and let's just get out of here, you guys. Oh, man, yeah. We need to get out of here because we got Carnotauruses over there. We got Raptors. Yeah, this is definitely a dangerous little area, so let's get out of there. Ooh, and our bird's about to be out of stamina. We are going to need to land. And um, if you guys are wondering, I put all of those level ups that we our bird got um, from that Explorer note into stamina, so I've just been exclusively leveling that up. And for some reason, he's not regaining stamina right now. I think it's because all those bugs were attacking him, so he's kind of like stamina prevented or whatever. I don't know. He can't regain stamina, so let's just go ahead and have him follow us home until he gains his stamina up enough. Has he gained it yet? Let's check. Let's check. He probably has. Come on, land. Land. There we go. Have you gained your stamina? Yes, you have. Sweet. There we go. Let's go ahead and do a barrel roll right across the river like so. Sweet. And give our bird over here all of this prime meat, and we'll be good to go. This thing should tame up, basically. Um, but yeah, throw it up in here. Um, should we just... Yeah, we might as well just give him everything. That way the spoil timers last just that ever so slightly longer, and we'll take out what we need. Ooh, yeah, already 29% tamed, plus 74 levels when it tames, you guys. This thing's going to be a level 200 plus Pteranodon. Absolutely amazing. I could not ask for anything better, you guys. So this is awesome. I think this will be a great place to leave off the episodes, you guys, because this Tranon is probably going to take a little while to tame, so I'll go ahead and finish taming him up off camera, as well as continuing, you know, caring to our Ceratosaurus and little Parasaur baby over here, because, yeah, they're going to need care here kind of soon. So, yeah, I'll make sure to tend to all those guys, but I'll see you guys here next time with some more Ark Survival Evolved, where we'll be going into that cave, I'm thinking, next episode, you guys, because I'll prepare us for that as well off camera, you know, get all the rest of the supplies that we need for that and we'll be ready to go caving next episode you guys so that'll be super awesome as well as getting our level up 200 plus to rat it on tame that thing is simply amazing i can't believe that just landed on our island i mean imagine the luck of that you guys i and two back-to-back -back level 150s in two straight episodes because we got that ceratosaurus last episode and now we're getting this to rat it on this episode you guys so that is just amazing we are doing really good i feel like on our rules you guys but either way thank you guys Guys, all very much for watching, and I will see you guys here next time with some more Ark Survival Evolved. Oh, bye there.